Hello, my name's Karthik, and today I'm going to teach you how to make these clouds come randomized. So you can see it's not like a set pattern, like sometimes it'll just go up or down, and sometimes it's like a zigzag. So I'm going to show you how to create it. So what you might be seeing right now in your game is just a normal T-Rex running without any clouds. And the way you create the clouds is, if you scroll down here, I'm going to say, you can see it says function spawn clouds. And what you want to write in here is, uh, you want to write an if loop. And the if loop should say world spring counts. And the way you get that is you can uh, come here into world. And then you can drag it out and put it. And then after you put it, what you want to do is put shift uh, 5. And then you can write any number, kind of, like, Try to make it like 60 or 50, somewhere there, and then do the triple equal to sign, and then write zero. And then what that will do is it will basically just kind of randomize it from each section. Kind of. And then what you want to do after that is you want to create your cloud, of course. So you could just create your cloud, and you everyone should know this by now, but you could just drag it out with sprites. And then you can write the animation, and you should scale it. And then make the velocity negative 2 or negative 1 somewhere there. Because if you do like negative 5, suppose, it's going to come shooting out of there. Right, yeah, see? So you want to do that. And then to make the, like the levels of the height different, what you want to do is you want to write cloud.y equal to random number. And you can get that from the math here the math section you could drag it out and then you could put right after cloud out y equal to random number you write 200 like 200 so that's where it starts the randomization and 330 so that's where like it ends so it'll be somewhere between those heights and then so what you might be noticing right when you create it is that if you don't have this what might be happening is if you jump what may happen is the clouds, uh, you might go in front of the clouds, but then the clouds outline would show. So let's see if I can show that. Yeah, right here. You can see the cloud goes in front of the T-Rex. The way you fix that is, uh, you can write cloud.depth is equal to T-Rex.depth, and so they'll be the same depth. But then you, after that, you write T-Rex.depth is equal to T-Rex.depth plus one, which makes the T-Rex go in front. And right after you do that, you should, uh, you should remember to go to here, where it says var rand number, and then the console.log should be looking like this for you, so you should just comment that line, and then, yeah, that's how you get this game. Thank you, and have a nice day.